A lot of people have asked that I share my teaching on end times on my YouTube channel. Today's teaching is a part of a 25 lesson series. Listen carefully because Jesus is soon to come. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17 reads as follows. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Here, Paul writes about the rapture. This is the time when Christ comes to call his church to be with him in glory. First, the dead will rise in their glorified bodies. And then the living and the dead will rise up to meet Christ in the air. All goodness and peace will leave the earth, and the Holy Spirit shall return to glory with the saints in whom he dwells. The Bible is not clear as to when the rapture will occur. Most people are of the consensus that the rapture is before the Great Tribulation. While some believe this is during or after the Great Tribulation. Since we do not know when it is to occur, we should prepare. Having extra food, water, or a way to purify water is essential. We should also keep medical supplies available. The tribulation period will be violent and those who do not accept the mark of the beast, the designated mark of the world government set up for the Antichrist, will not be able to buy or sell. The good news is that we will be raptured. No one knows the day or the hour. And those who say they do have the spirit of the Antichrist. Hold on. Trust God. Jesus is soon to return. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have a plan of evacuation for those of us who are a part of your body. Lord, when the end times come, give us the strength to endure anything we may have to endure. Let us remain faithful to you. And let us be found during the work that you have called us to do. Forgive us if we have been lackadaisical or slack in our witness and our work for you. Father God, this is the confidence we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And if we know you hear us, Whatsoever we shall ask, we know that we have the petition that we have desired of you. So we say thank you for what you have done, for what you are doing, and for what you will do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please like and subscribe. God bless you.